Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Triscoll Linux based on Ubuntu long-term support with the Mate desktop. First thing we're going to do is zip on over to their website. That is triscoll.info. I'll be sure to put that link below in the description. It just basically gives you some highlights of what Triscoll is. It's a GNU Linux free operating system. There's screenshots here, there's documentation, there's a forum. And of course, their blog is over here that lets you know about the most recent release. And then over here, you've got forum. You can go into the forum should you have any comments. User login, if you want to create a forum account, you can. Code comments, things that they're doing with the code. And then, of course, they list over here the people with the donations that they've received. And then up top, of course, you've got download, documentation, forum, and donate, which everything was covered right here. So we're going to go ahead and close out of the website. And if you download Trisco Linux, put it on a USB, throw it in a GNOME box or virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. You do not have a welcome screen. So the first thing I want to do is right-click on the desktop. You can create a folder, launcher, document, organize your desktop by name, keep a line, change the desktop background. Let's see what kind of backgrounds we get out of the box. You've got a real beautiful one right to begin with. You've got, let's pick that. That's a little bright and flashy. You can pick that. That's actually a pretty good looking picture. Or you could pick something like that. So they've got some good looking backgrounds out of the box. Just something for you to take a look at. And that kind of looks like an eyeball. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there. And then over here, you've got theme. You've got a custom theme that is what it comes with out of the box. You've got ambient mate. You've got black mate. So if you wanted to change it, you could just click on it. And it changes everything over, and it does change your background. Then you can go to fonts. If you wanted to change your fonts, this is where you would come. You've got application fonts right here, Roboto Regular. Now, if you wanted to change this and make it maybe Roboto Light Italic, you could pick that. And then if you wanted to make it a little bigger, you could bump it up to 12, let's say, and then select. And then it would change across your operating system. And then interface. Menus and toolbars show icons and menus. And then, of course, you get a preview of what it looks like here. If you didn't want icons, you could just unclick that. And then you could see that these icons would disappear and you would just have words. So we will go ahead and close out of that. Now, if you come down to the bottom, you notice you get one panel down at the bottom. You've got your click here to hide all windows and show desktop. You've got time, sound, battery, and, of course, internet. Now, if you right-click on the panel, you get About Panels, New Panel, Reset Panel, Properties. You could click on Properties. If you wanted to make it a little bigger, you could just come up here. And as you see, it's getting a little bigger down there. And then, of course, the background of the panel. Right now, it doesn't have any color, and it's kind of got some transparency to it. It's really awesome looking. I'm going to leave that alone, so we'll go ahead and close. If we come over to the left, the web browser that we were just in, where we were on the website is actually a fork of Firefox, and it is a browser. That's all it's called, a browser. And it's based on a stable, recent version of Firefox. And then you've got, of course, your file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. Let's scoot this over here so we can see a little better. Now, this is the Kaja file manager, and let's see what version we have of it, 1.20.2. So we will close out of that. As you can see, it's just a really slick, clean File Manager, you got your usual suspects over here, and then, of course, your home folders right here. Now, if you wanted to make these folders right here bigger, all you would have to do is come up here and click on them, and you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want. And then if you wanted to change the view, you could go with a list view or you could go with a compact view. I'm going to go ahead and bump that back to the icon view, but that's Kaja. Stays out of your way, lets you get work done, so let's close out of that. Now we're going to come down to the Triscoll app menu, open that up, and at the very top you've got internet, which covers your browser, Ice Dove Mail. Let's check out Ice Dove Mail. That's interesting. Okay, and it does open up, and it says, Welcome to Ice Dove Triscoll, and it gives you the opportunity here to put in your name and an email address and password. What I'm going to do real quick is put my information in and see if it lets me sync up. Be right back. Okay, I put in my Microsoft email account, and it seems to be syncing up just fine. It's a decent-looking mail client. I haven't really got into the particulars here. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can change preferences, composition, privacy and security, general, plain text. Looks like there's a lot of preferences, and it looks like it is based on Thunderbird. 
so that's pretty neat. I like that. They've taken Firefox and they've taken Thunderbird and they pretty much just fit them into their operating system and made everything work real smoothly. So that's another thing you can think about if you want to download this operating system. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and we will come back over to internet. We were at iStub, so we got Jammy, Liferia Transmission for your BitTorrent, LibreOffice Suite is downloaded out of the box, Graphic, you got GIMP out of the box, Make Color Selector, Sound and Audio, Brazero, Rhythmbox, VLC, you've got some games, accessories, you've got all the Mate accessories, you got Pluma Text Editor, you got Back in Time, which is a good backup program. GW Package Installer, should you want to install any kind of package that you download from online. Add and remove applications. Let's go ahead and open that up. There we go. Let's move that in the center so we can see it a little bit. Matter of fact, let's just go full screen. Is this just one of them where we can just type in something and it goes search and find it? OBS. Um, I'm not seeing OBS pop up, but I could be wrong. Let's go to Graphics. Multimedia, there's OBS under Multimedia. So I wonder why it didn't show up under All. Now it's showing up. Let's try Caden Live. Caden Live. Okay, there it goes. I guess maybe it was just refreshing and I was a little bit ahead of it. Let's try Geary Mail. Okay, so there's Geary. So you just come up here, type in what you're looking for, click on it over here. Once you've got it clicked, you can come down here and apply changes. Once you hit apply changes, what it'll do is it'll show you a list of dependencies that are required for that app to work. You click apply, and then it would install it and put it on the system. So I'm liking that. That's a pretty decent little add and remove software program. So let's close out of that. All right, come back down here to the application menu. You've got places, system, lock screen. I really thought it would have Synaptic Package Manager, but it doesn't. But that add and remove applications program should give you everything that you need. So that's pretty much it. A quick look at Triskel 9 with the Mate desktop. It's real light. It's got everything built right into it that you need. If you're interested in it, you know, you just go over to their website, download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, give it a test drive. If you do, please come back, put a comment down below and tell me what you think of Triskel OS. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and like the videos that we're doing, you can buy us a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.